I have no problem with political polarization if its net effect is that of truth. Yeah. What's, what's virtuous about being moderate in the face of someone's life being turned to ruins by lies? You don't get to lie and then defame the person fighting that lie right. for polarizing America. <laughs> Top five leftist hoaxes of 2019. Uh, so question of the day, let me ask you this. Genuinely, how do you vet news stories today? If you read or hear something interesting, what do you do to determine the veracity? I'm, I'm really curious, let me know, because it is getting pretty difficult. So very. Obviously, I believe yeah. that the left is wrong. And we'll say, why do you say right or left? Shut up. I believe they're <laughs> mainly wrong about everything. <laughs> But just, that means wrong, not dishonest. Right. But we have seen a new threat emerging in 2019. In the past, they would usually bolster their claims, the progressive left, with, with evidence that maybe we didn't think supported, we would disagree right. uh, on the idea that it supported their conclusions. Mm -hmm. But now there is a movement, and when I say this, I mean Hollywood, media, and, and those in the DNC. So I know someone out there like, I'm a classical liberal. I get it, not talking about you, right. Ruben. Uh, <laughs> Looking at you, Ruben. But they've pivoted to completely nice. false evidence, hoaxes to support the majority, uh -huh. certainly a plurality of their political agenda. So we're gonna look at the top five verifiable hoaxes perpetrated by the left in 2019. And we're not even at summer break yet. No, no, <laughs> Keep in mind. No. They packed them in. The MTV VJs just packed up their tarp from Cancun, <laughs> and we already have five to go through. So, you know you uh, number five, Kavanaugh rape hoax, obviously, oh is a pretty big yeah. one. A lot of people are saying, wasn't that 2018? No, it happened this year. Whoa. That's how no. slowly yeah. it's going by. So, after the investigations, they show, showed us that Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, um, didn't have any kind of a record. Suddenly, no. Democrats, they trotted out lines of women claiming that he not only assaulted them sexually, but he rang, uh, he, he would run gape, gape, <laughs> gape, gang. rape Ooh. gang rings. Go. There's no rape way that word is going rings. to sound. I made yeah. it sound, how can you make rape gang rings sound worse? I just did. Yeah. <laughs> Gape, rape, gang, gape, gang, something. <laughs> and they did it right before the vote. Zoinks. Lest right you think I'm exaggerating, because a lot of people forget, here you go. Indelible in the hippocampus is the laughter. She's a doctor. This third by the accuser, way. her name is <laughs> Julie Swetnick, publicly identified herself and alleged that Kavanaugh and others in the early 1980s others. spiked the drinks of girls at high school parties with intoxicants to make it easier for them to be gang raped. Okay. So, oh. Oh, it must gay, be true. Gang, gay, 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 rape, gag, rings, gang rings. It's very Something. difficult to say. Ooh. Say it five yes. times fast. If you do, they'll make sure that you never make Supreme Court. So, <laughs> Blasey Ford, her accusations, by the way, completely fell apart. Before we get yeah. to the, the gang rape, uh, she couldn't determine the place where the alleged assault happened. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the people she remembered being there, they denied the event ever having t taken place. <laughs> yeah. She Oops. couldn't remember the year it happened, and outside That's counsel important. concluded that there was no, there would be no reasonable prosecutor who would bring criminal charges against the judge. Uh, her story kept changing, and as time went case. on, by the way, her therapist, <laughs> the notes from her therapist presented a completely different account than the one that she gave in her hearing. That Julie Swetnick oh, she just mentioned uh, made the gang rape, accusa gang rape accusations. I cannot say that it, word. It's, it's <laughs> impossible. Anyway, the bottom line is, after mulling it over, understanding yes. potentially the threat of yeah. perjury, she walked it back a little bit. Really? But you said he was a gang rapist. <laughs> it's no. about optics. <laughs> Wait, what? What's, what optics are what optics are bad here? Namely that I lied about gang rape. <laughs> <laughs> Those ones. I'm In the sorry. war of PR, lying about gang rape. By the oh, the third accuser admitted by the way she'd never even met Kavanaugh. That was one too. So remember, three main, those are the three Come main on, accusers. At least be in the same room with a guy one time and in your life. This is the highest level of hoax. It's yeah. a coordinated effort by Democrat activists to push a completely false story in order to prevent yeah. a Supreme Court nomination. And of course, the left, they didn't accept the results when their hoax fell to pieces. Right. They still smear him as a rapist. And by the way, I'm not in the business of ascribing uh, motive or intent here, but honestly, uh, let me ask you this. What, is it, what does it take? Yeah. Two out of three were verifiably completely false. They pulled it back themselves with the only one remaining presenting zero evidence absent yeah. the cases where she presented verifiably false evidence. <laughs> uh, what does it take to just admit you were wrong? What does it take to just allow for innocent until proven guilty? Number four uh, hoax, we have to rattle off this. There are so many here. Uh, of course, the Russian collusion conspiracy uh, theory. Now, I know this technically, deal. of course, it started years ago. Uh, <laughs> came to yes. a head in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Democrats refused to accept the, uh, the results of our democratic election. Of course. Which, of course, shouldn't that should send shivers down your spine when you're talking about demo democratic socialism. <laughs> well, you don't even believe in the first part, which you're using to try to make the second part sound less shit. <laughs> You don't even don't believe in that, that first part. You're trying to whitewash <laughs> with the part you don't care about. Anyways, they claimed it was a result of a vast conspiracy between Trump and Russia. Of course Lest you think we're making it up, let's get in the DeLorean. Welcome back to Reliable Sources, uh, where every day we're trying to keep track 
of the drip, drip, drip of the Russia investigations. Uh, and it's not it. until We're after trying to the election track. that the extent of the Russian involvement in our presidential election really came to light. So you Director have Clapper. seen direct evidence of collusion? Uh, I don't want to go into specifics, but I will say that there <laughs> is evidence say, that yeah. is not circumstantial uh, and, uh, and is very much worthy of investigation. Listen, How's he in office? I don't want to get into specifics. Why is that? Namely, I don't have any. <laughs> Not, not uh, a citizen. Uh, that is exactly what he said. Sure. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he did the Devil's Triangle in a, a rape gate gang. Rape. <laughs> so by the way, so how does this end up? We conducted an investigation, cost taxpayers, uh, you and I. <laughs> good for us. Twenty five million dollars. Oh wow. Found yeah. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction. Yeah. No, no criminal activity whatsoever. Uh, by the way, we also found out that some of the warrants were granted based on evidence presented from sources like the Steele dossier created by Fusion GPS. We've talked about that. A oh, Democrat yeah. research firm in Russia. <laughs> so that's kind of something that maybe we should yeah. look into. Yeah, um, and I will say this. In 2018, maybe we could have still called this a hoax. Yeah. Um, or, or maybe it would have been unfair, I guess, to, to call it a hoax but because we were still investigating. But, but now we know it was a false claim based on false evidence. Yeah. Proven false after two years, twenty-five million dollars. I mean, that's as that's as thoroughly debunked as a hoax can get. Cool. All of this, Hillary Clinton, uh, she still claims the election is <laughs> stolen. As I've been telling candidates who have come to see me, you can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you or lose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's almost like she's talking about herself. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Hillary, that seems yeah. like a really neat motivational speech. Very specific. How many of us would that apply to? This one's more, that one was more for me. Yeah. And of it's course, autobiography. of course, Democrats are calling for more investigations. Yeah. Which is, this is where I think it's gone from hoax to conspiracy theory. Uh, and it's, this occurs with almost all conspiracy theories. It doesn't yeah. matter how much you disprove the conspiracy. They believe it even more yes. after yeah. you provide them with research. You see it with Trump and the Russians. Uh, if we didn't land on the moon, vaccines cause what? autism, or Brett Kavanaugh ran rape gate gang in the Devil's Triangle <laughs> underground. The point is, Almost. it doesn't matter if you present it. It's like, hold on, there's complete evidence that's not the case. <laughs> or do they want you to believe that there's evidence that it's not the case? <laughs> what? Uh, 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 about the Russians? Oh NASA? But I repeat myself. Mm. What? <laughs> Wait, what? What's happening? Also, if the uh, Earth were rotating, if you oh, went up in a helicopter and you went up it, you went mm -hmm, up, mm -hmm. for, and you were in Cameroon, you would land in Schenectady. What? <laughs> I mean, have you been to Antarctica? <laughs> I, By want, the way, I want all those people to move to Canada. Hit Please. the notification uh, bell. They won't do that because they don't believe it exists. Uh, <laughs> fall off the edge of the Earth with a wild link. Bookmark the page because apparently notifications don't necessarily work. Join Mug Club and, uh, of course, subscribe on iTunes for some exclusive Ooh. content there. Yeah. Hoax number three in 2019. Again, this is all the same. I know people are going to think I'm scraping. No, yeah. this was really easy. Yeah, very, very easy. Jesse oh. Smollett hate hoax. Oh. That seems... Oh. Kind of, oh. So what did he claim? Best actor. For people who forget the absurdity <laughs> of it, and this is important to go back, I, I think, and look at the time capsule, yeah. kind of like when you have your 20-year high school reunion, because we need to remember what it is that everyone believed at that moment in time. Uh, freezing Chicago night, two mass Trump supporters said this is MAGA country before they tried to strangle him and pour bleach on. The attackers? It's the attackers, it? but it's also the attacks. <laughs> it's like, you know, at first it was a thing oh. of like, listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the truth then is it became a thing of like, oh, mm. how can you doubt that? Like, how do you, how do you not believe that? Uh, let me take a it's wild guess. <laughs> And then it became a thing of like, oh, Ooh, a thing of like. it's not necessarily that you don't believe that this is the truth. No. You don't even want to see. How many times have you said the truth? The truth. No, it's, it's that we don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you got wrong is the truth. It's we don't believe you. Oh, my like, gosh. It is the truth. And then yeah. how can somebody like, but then you realize that's because it is the truth. How many times did you just say truth? You're like you're like Destiny's Child who rhymed <laughs> down like that with down like that five times. <laughs> Oh my gosh. gosh. That By the sucks. way, in case, again, we, we now know the two Nigerian brothers worked on the show Empire, purchased the materials using the attack, yeah. Jesse paid them. We have the checks. We have the stuff that he paid them with. It's not just it's like the first time in history paid by checks. Again, just in case you don't believe me, here's a video of them purchasing what what item? Everything. Everything for the hate crime. Look at that. Oh, that's. that's oh. Looks like. Yep, masks, yeah. hats. Camouflage. Masks, a noose, and a bottle of Clorox. Boys will be boys. <laughs> it's a Saturday night. That is a Saturday anyway. night. Yeah. Everybody buys those things. So, yeah. this is important because the DA found Smollett guilty. 
of fabricating the hoax. Yes. Uh, hopes, hoax. What is it with my, I, my mouth hoax. isn't working. Mm. Uh, refused to send some to anything but 16 hours of community service. That's a lot. And and this is one oh, of those man. things, I think this is one of those situations people will look back in history, kind of like with OJ, and I'm not saying he's like OJ, just as unlikable. <laughs> but they'll look back in history and say, how did that guy get away with it? And that's what's so corrosive with these hoaxes, because it received wall-to-wall -wall coverage from the leftist yeah. media yeah. who really wanted this to be a hate crime by MAGA hat wearing racists. They really wanted that to be a case. When it fell apart, they're not going to be the ones left with eggs on their face. What, they're going to admit they're wrong or that Kavanaugh isn't a gang rapist? What do you expect <laughs> yeah, from us? Hoax number two. We're, get, we're getting very near the end of this. Uh, the Covington oh kids, the hate hoax. Remember the kids wearing MAGA hats? They Those supposed that originally, again, time capsule. <gasps> oh, look, lies. Everywhere. <laughs> they supposedly, sa uh, they surrounded a poor Native American. Poor um, Indian. Who uh, <laughs> they were trying <laughs> to have an indigenous <laughs> peoples march, <laughs> and apparently these kids right, yeah. surrounded this this um, this uh, w w what's the term we use? Redskin. Redskin. Uh, shouting, <laughs> build Jeez. that wall. This was the coverage. Catholic high school students, seen wearing "Make America Great Again" hats, appearing to face off with Nathan Phillips, a 65-year-old Native American, as he passed wow. the drum near the Lincoln Memorial during an indigenous peoples march. <laughs> I heard them saying, build that wall, build that wall, you know, this is indigenous lands, uh, you know, no. we're not supposed to have walls here, we never did. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess if he, if he, if the toothless meth head claims he heard it, <laughs> it must be true. Good enough for me. This is reliable sources, after all. <laughs> Mr. Toothless Meth Head, did you hear them yell out racial epithets? <laughs> yes, I believe that I did. <laughs> Good enough for me. Don Lemon, you're next. Accurate source. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. What actually happened? Students oh, were man. waiting for their ride, and they were being harassed by black Israelites for an hour. And then Nathan, uh, Nathan Phillips decided to pile on. It turns Hello. out that he approached the students, banging his drum in their faces. Here we have no. some video. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. He's I walking in. Here yeah. come Gad. Here come Gad. What's that guy yelling? I don't know what that means. Dad. Here come Dad. Well, it, listen, it makes more sense when you're saying that Nathan Phillips is a deranged, deranged activist who he, he does this all the time. After the Covington kids controversy, um, yeah. he tried to storm a Catholic church in the middle of mass banging yeah. his drum. Oh, boy. Yeah. Students of Covington Catholic High School be reprimanded, not just by the school. Not a charismatic guy. <laughs> but by their upcoming universities. Uh, the maybe another church, How to respect prayer, how to respect ceremony. It is not what? even their allowance. Huh? Can someone please take his drum and put his head what? through it so he wears it like a necklace? <laughs> it's, it's not a real call to violence, by the way, because it's just cartoonish. It wouldn't hurt at all. It's just like, boom, no. duh, boss. That's what I want to see. <laughs> you know what's funny, funny that he's talking about his land and he's yeah. on the iPhone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the white my, my man forces me to is... live this way. Really? I don't but think you so. Have, I mean, that's the updated Android. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like just aren't out. that bad for you. Mm. If I don't update it, they throttle my battery. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's enough time. Uh, uh, final one. It's because five is the magic number on YouTube, so we, but there, we could have done 20. Uh, there are a bunch of smaller hate crimes. Hoax number one is just a whole bunch of them because five wasn't enough. So there's like this, this example was a uh, fake anti-Semitic uh, attack on a Jewish restaurant in Canada. This got wall-to-wall -wall coverage. The Jewish communities in Canada are still trying to make sense of an alleged fake anti-Semitic attack in Winnipeg. Whoops. Police say the owners of a family restaurant mm. staged everything, but the family insists that they're telling the truth. Did you fake the vandalism we around this We didn't. We didn't. Because we don't joke about swastika on our walls. One swastika of the owners said she was assaulted. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> Those are terrifying. But after investigating, that police charged three members of the either. family Imagine with public mischief. Imagine an episode of Lock Up with a swastika narwhal. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the, he's got the uh, Edward Norton American history yeah, tattoo. This means not welcome. Uh, anyway, it was fake, by the way. And there were a bunch uh, of fake LGBT uh, hate crimes in Portland. Uh, the reporter Andy, Andy go uh and and go and go and not going to be featured on this show anymore <laughs> <laughs> he researched a bunch of these reports in a supposed wave of uh, hate crimes you've heard about this a lot right yeah. this is why it's important because the narrative has been set by this wave the surge in hate crimes. it's everywhere they found this investigation found that they almost all uh fit the pattern of being highly publicized despite having no evidence ultimately leading <laughs> to no police investigation <laughs> so why are these number one That's a bad look yeah. Instead of a bigger profile hoax. And that's because these smaller hoaxes, they actually push the narrative more than the big ones. Yes. Because fewer people know that they're hoaxes. Media reports on them at one point or another, and then they turn out to be false 
because these aren't as high profile of case, people just, they don't hear about it. They no. never knew yeah, that it was no. a hoax. They all they remember was the original. Just like you have many people, by the way, who still believe Kavanaugh uh, to be a rapist, but not as many because there have been enough people like us who've been at the forefront of that. The media indicts. The media is very quick to indict. Yeah. They, they don't vindicate. Okay, by the time vindication or truth emerges, they've moved on. They're super fast to indict, slow to correct or vindicate, if ever. Yeah. We're at a point where leftists, they openly push hoaxes on CNN, MSNBC, mm -hmm. New York Times. It's not people at the fringe. That's what's important. We have yep, senators, yeah. congressmen, presidential candidates pushing hoaxes that have been conclusively disproven, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, then these people have the nerve, this is what really bothers me, the nerve to bemoan today's political polarization. <laughs> I've said this so yeah. many times and I stand by it. I have no problem with political polarization if its net effect is that of truth. Yeah. What's, what's virtuous about being moderate in the face of someone's life being turned to ruins by lies? Let me ask you this, okay, let's say you're up for a job, a uh, big promotion yeah. at your job, okay? Three women come forward and accuse you of running rape gangs, which has zero basis in truth. If you don't go along with it, if you fight it with every fiber of your being, are you guilty of contributing to the office polarized climate? Yeah. What if it was your kids who were accused of a hate crime? And if yeah. you don't passionately fight back, their, their names, their reputations, ability to make future livings, they'll be ruined for the rest of their lives. Yeah. It's called the, obstruction. Right. It's obstruction. Is, is, is the, is the G, G. Willikers, let's listen to both sides, milk toast pansy, more virtuous than the person who fights back? And I'm not, this is the thing, I'm not gonna play this game with the left because like you see with these hoaxes, they're only going to get worse. And then when disproven, they move on. You, you don't get to lie and then defame the person fighting that lie right. for polarizing America. Yeah. So this is something I think everyone out there needs to decide. You have to take inventory of how you've reacted to these stories, okay? And ask yourself a question, what's more desirable? A lie that brings people together at the cost of destroying everything, but particularly an innocent person, mm -hmm. or the responding truth that sows division. Might be a tough one for you. For me, it's pretty easy. Hey there, if you like this video, subscribe or click one of these videos playing in a box. You know what? Hit the notification bell because subscriptions don't really mean anything anymore, especially if you're not 18 or older, at the very least, logged into YouTube as 18 or older, because sometimes people are 25, but they don't know how to use the YouTube system properly, and then you never, just hit the notification bell, or you hate yourself.